Skull Formation. Yuan Lagya is a type of dromaeosaur native to this region. The species is only known from fragmentary fossils. However, related genera to the species may have been fish eaters. The terrestrial food would be taken as well. Its thin legs allow this small theropod to pursue prey with great speed. On the opposite end of the size spectrum is the Argentinosaurus, the largest confirmed sauropod dinosaur, weighing in at up to 100 tons and sometimes longer than the blue whale. The Argentinosaurs are the titans of the Cretaceous, yet the subadults hang out with the adults to avoid predation. The Mapasaurus is one of these large predators. Giant Carodontosaurids probably hunted sauropods at least some of the time. However, this pet is content to cool off in the river for the time being. Some ornithopods lived in this region at the time. Some of the only large non-sauropod herbivores here is the Iguanodon macrogryphosaurus. They require less food than their giant sauropod competitors and can enter deep forests unlike some of the larger titanosaurs. The setting of the sun brings in the dusk. Larger animals can exercise more efficiently in these cooler temperatures. Without the hot sun, overheating is less of a problem. The large sauropods thermal inertia keeps them warm in the nights through keeping the heat lost during the day and losing it gradually over the course of the evening. In the cool of the evening, new predators come out to hunt. The Scorpia veneta is one of these. An abeliosaur, a group of nearly armly theropods it belongs to. Some species chase their prey down. Great stamina and agility are needed to pursue the iguanodonts through these dense trees. However, the hunt has been interrupted by another dinosaur. The Mapasaurus has come to mark its territory. Different individual dinosaurs have different scents, thus they can be used to mark the edge of the different territories or to reduce competition within the species. <laughs> 